We're getting close to wrapping up the year 2022, and this year I've done a lot of experiments and shared those out, and some of the things that I wanted to share with you that have worked out quite well for me have been things such as paying more attention to the plant varieties that I grow and finding out that there are some varieties that are certainly more capable of growing indoors. Now, for example, Microdorf uh, tomato plants, uh, Arrow Garden is a great company. They have a couple, uh, one is the red heirloom tomato, which is what you see back here. And prior to that, I was growing the Golden Harvest Microdorf uh, tomato plant, and that did well. Behind me is lettuce, and that is Vivian Romaine lettuce. And the thing that I found with the Vivian Romaine lettuce is not only is it sweet and has a nice crunch to it, but it grows large and it does not take long to actually get a lot of lettuce. As a matter of fact, just this little unit behind me has been enough to literally fill gallon uh, Ziploc bags of lettuce on a regular basis. And I've been able to have a lot more greens in my diet over the course of the year. Now, in addition to plant varieties, one of the other things that I've been working with a lot has been a staggered seed starting. And that works well with the uh, lettuce plants. Uh, these uh, little units that are beside me, I have seed starting decks for those where I could start 15 lettuce seeds at a time. And I can move those into the larger uh, air garden bounty units and grow those out. It's nice to be able to take the uh, lettuce and in addition to harvesting the entire head, maybe just picking the outer leaves or giving it kind of a haircut, leaving about a third of the plant and letting it regrow. And that extends the harvest of the uh, primary crop that I grow. Now, uh, one of the other things is that I decided to experiment with coal crops. Coal crops are a cold season crop, and my office is typically anywhere between 68 and 74 degrees. And the range that it is in does well with a lot of plants. Most of your plants have a temperature range, you know, a high and a low that they prefer, and they grow better closer to the higher end of that range. But uh, some of the plants also do well with a brief period of cold, kind of like an overnight in an outdoor area. However, they will do well indoors. Now, the nutrient that I'm using, because I get asked that quite a bit, I switch back and forth. Uh, sometimes I use a DynaGrow 9-3-6 nutrient and that gives me nice growth, dark, lush green leaves, lots of photosynthesis, but I've switched off to uh, Aero Garden nutrients and have done quite well with those too. Now, the coal crops in these uh, little units here, this middle one, I've got the little grow sponges, one cauliflower seed per sponge. I've got a uh, little dome clear caps over the top to help hold the humidity level and get those seeds uh, started. And what I do is I, I'll launch those in the one that you see right there. And then over to the side of it, this is broccoli. The broccoli is a small size, small enough that I could probably continue to hold it in these little Aero Garden sprouts with 10 watt lights, you know, which, you know, you think about it, what's the cost of growing indoors? 10 watts, what is 10 watts, you know? But uh, these uh, broccoli plants are growing. I'm gonna allow those to continue to grow and then I'm going to put them into a, a larger system. As a matter of fact, if you were to uh, look behind me, there is a cauliflower plant, an experiment. And the cauliflower plant, the shelf is about 22 inches wide. Oh, and that, that's another thing that I get asked quite a bit. Where'd you get those shelves from? A retail store called Christmas Tree Shops. They were actually a unit that's called a three shelf ladder shelving unit. The top shelf that you see was originally the middle shelf and what I did was is I removed the smaller top shelf and I took the middle shelf out and screwed it in at the top and that gives me a perfect little setup to go vertical and that's 
another point this year, going vertical, allowing me to get more grow in a smaller space has been very helpful as well. So the last thing that uh, I really did quite well with was uh, being able to clone plants. And I've taken cuttings off of plants and rooted those in the little uh, sprout units that you saw a little bit ago. And the little uh, clone uh, plants, I've moved those into air garden bounties, I've moved those into larger units such as a Black Magic Grow Pal and uh, grown those out. I've got a uh, cucumber plant I could show you that is 238 days old. And what I did with that is I grew the original plant, took a cutting, grew that, took a cutting, grew that, and now I about uh, seven generations, I, want, I don't know if you want to call it generations, but seven succession cuttings from a grown out plant into another plant, perpetuating that uh, cucumber plant and having more of a continuity in production of cucumbers. The tomato plants, I've uh, cloned those. And the tomato plants take usually about a hundred days before they start to produce well. I could trim some of those days off by by taking a branch of a mature plant and putting that into a larger container. I've been using a 14 gallon drum using nothing circulating hydroponics uh, developed by Bernie Cracky and uh, have done quite well using a 50 watt light over uh, those. It gives me a larger plant. It will grow bigger in a bigger container about uh, 24 inches wide and it's easier to get a larger number of tomatoes on a larger plant. So those are some of the fun things that I've been doing this year and I would encourage everyone to uh, get out there and uh, dabble a little bit in indoor growing because you'll find that after you start to get a few grows under your belt that it is quite easy and there's a lot of information online and it should provide you with a lot of healthy choices for the coming year.